Hi everyone. This video we are going to discuss differences between comparable and comparator interfaces in Java. Well, both comparable and comparator interfaces are used to sort collection elements based on data members of the class. Now let us understand each of them with an example. First, let us understand comparable interface. So for that, I have created a class student here, a typical student class, which has, uh, you know, data members, role number, name and marks. So let me create a constructor for this class, which actually initializes the values for these data members. And also let us generate the getters for this class, right? For all the three data members. All right, so we have a class student with three data members now, right? So we have constructor and also we have getters for these data members. All right, now I have main method. Now I'm going to actually create objects for this. I'm going to create a list of objects for this student class, right? Array list. Student. and going to add some objects to it, student objects to it, right? Add new student of, I'm going to initialize a constructor. Say for example, one or two is role number, alias is name and some 70 something. As some marks, right? So in the same way, I'm going to add two more objects to it. All right, okay. Now, we wanted to sort these objects based on marks. So how are we going to do that? For that, we are going to implement comparable interface. So implement comparable interface. So you can see comparable of type T, right? So we need to specify the type. So of type student. So we need to implement the methods. We need to implement compare to method within the comparable interface, right? So here is, we need to specify our own logic to sort the elements based on marks. So, so we need to write the logic here to sort the elements based on marks, right? So if marks are equal to the marks of the object which is passed, then we are going to return zero as both are same or else if marks are greater than the marks to be compared with, right? Then we are going to return one or else we'll just return minus one. So this is the logic we are going to use to sort the elements based on marks, right? Now we can use the method sort, which is present in the collections class, right? Collections.sort and you can see here. So it just asks for the list of type objects, right? So we are going to pass array list of objects. Now, once the objects are sorted based on marks, right? So we are going to print them here. So this sort method, what it does, you can we can see here the definition of it, right? So it sorts the specified list into ascending order according to the natural ordering of its elements. And we can read here, all elements in the list must implement the comparable interface. So all the elements in the list, what are the elements in the list here? In our case, student, right? So all of them are implementing the comparable interface, right? So this should actually call this compare to method and sort the these objects based on the logic which we defined here in our case based on marks right so let us run this example and verify yes we can clearly see here based on the marks marks is the third parameter you can clearly see here 55 68 and 73 so it actually sorted the elements or the object student objects based on the marks so this is how we can actually use the comparable interface to give to actually sort the elements based on the user definition, right? Now let us actually see 
an example on comparator. So comparator also, so I have the same class student, just that I renamed the uh, class to student A. So you can see the same data members, constructor, getters, right? So in the main method, I'm going to actually use the same example. Like uh, I'm going to take the same objects. So we have an array list here, right? Added uh, three objects, three student objects to it. Now we wanted to sort the elements based on, let's say for example, based on name, right? So last time we did it using marks, right? For uh, comparable, now let's do it based on name. So for that, how are we going to do that using comparator, right? The first thing like, Earlier, we actually implemented the class in the original class itself, right? So using comparator, we are going to define a different class, like a separate class apart from the original class. So we can name it some something like this, sort names, implement comparator of type. We need to specify the type here. Again, comparator is an interface. So we need to implement the methods. So here we have method called compare. So you can see here, this compare method actually takes two parameters, right? So student one, S1 and S2. So we need to compare these two objects and return the, write the logic here. So for that, what I'm going to do here is, so return S1 dot we wanted to sort based on the name, right? Get name dot. I'm going to use compare to method of string. So you we can write any logic here, right? So I'm just using compare to method uh, of string, right? To compare two strings. This is my logic defined in the sort names class, which is implementing comparator interface, right? So in the same way, we can actually define marks as well. So if I wanted to sort the elements based on marks, right? So again, like comparator of student, write your own logic here, right? Implement methods. Again, we need to implement compare. I'll just replace, uh, I'll actually write the same logic, almost the same logic. This is also the, Okay, we need to say get marks as the data members were declared private, right? All right. So almost the same logic that we used earlier, right? So this actually sorts this method, uh, this class, right? Which is implementing comparative interface. So this compare method actually is sorting based on marks, right? We have another uh, class defined. Inside it, we have a compare method, which actually sorts based on names, right? Now let's go back and actually use the collections class to sort the elements. Sort, so pass the list and also we need to pass the class which we wanted to sort. Let's say for example, I wanted to sort using, let's actually use names, sort names, right? So this is how we need to pass the class name so that it understands based on which class it has to sort the elements, right? And finally, we are going to print the result after sorting. This has to be student A, okay. And we can see here, it actually sorts based on the names, right? Allies, Bob and Chris. So we just can replace this class with, you know, uh, just replace this class with marks, then it actually sorts the elements based on marks. So new sort marks. And we can see the elements are sorted based on marks. So this is how we can actually use comparator interface to sort the elements, right? List of elements. So now let us understand the differences between comparable and comparator. So the first difference we can see, right? Comparable is present in java.lang package and comparator is present in java.util package. The second difference, we can see here, 
compare to is the method used actually to sort the elements in comparable interface, right? So which actually takes one object and it actually compares with the, this object. Whereas, whereas in comparator, so we can see it actually uses compare method. So the method name is compare here. Uh, just uh, notice the difference here. And it takes two objects. So any two objects, it can compare, right? So this is the second difference. And the main difference here is, you can see we can only sort like single sequence in comparable, right? So we can only sort based on single element, like we define compared to based on marks here, right? But in comparator, we can actually sort based on multiple sequence. That is, we can sort the collections on the basis of multiple elements. So we we saw like we sorted using names. We sort uh, we saw uh, sorting based on marks, and we can even sort based on roll number as well. We just need to create a different class, right, and implement the comparator interface for that to sort the elements based on roll number, right? So multiple sorting sequence is provided by comparator interface. And the next difference is collections dot sort. You can see it actually takes one parameter which is list, right? In comparator, it actually takes two parameters. So one is the list, actual list to be sorted. And the second parameter is the class, which you wanted uh, to use for sorting, right? So this is the next difference. And the last difference we can see here, right? Compared to is the method defined within the original class. So the original class is modified here. Whereas in comparator, so we uh, we the logic of the sorting is outside of the original class. It doesn't actually affect the original class. So these are the main differences between comparable and comparator interfaces in Java, right? So in this video, we have seen, like we understood first what comparable and what comparator interface are with an example. And finally, we saw the differences between them. So if you like the video, please like, subscribe and share it. Thanks for watching.